In this video, I'm going to be looking at the new random parameter in Midjourney and how it can be an incredibly useful tool for your arsenal. It really can open up a whole new world of visual opportunities. Okay, let's get into it. So Midjourney just dropped a new random style generator and it may not seem like much, but I've been playing around with it and it's really fun to use. So let's jump straight in and check it out. I'll start off with a simple prompt. I've got a portrait of a dog. Then just type in dash dash sref for style reference. And then after sref, put a space and then write in random. What this will do is create a completely random style for your image. Think of it as a lottery and you could be really surprised with what kind of styles you get back. And the image I got back looks really cool. It's got a more like kind of realistic style look to it, but it's added this nice backlighting to the dog and it's got a really unique look to it. And here's a tip if you want to generate multiple results just from one prompt. So I've just created the same prompt I did before, but at the end add in dash dash repeat and then the number of times you want it to repeat and then just click on yes and then it will create that many jobs. It just saves you from writing in that prompt multiple times and using the repeat parameter is perfect for this random generator as it allows you to generate so many different random styles. And that's the point of this random generator is to find a style that you really like and then use that for future images. So let's have a look at the latest styles Midjourney has made. And they're all very different. This one looks awesome. It's got this really nice blue color tone to it but with a painterly style. And here's a more kind of drawing sketchy kind of look and a more psychedelic kind of art style with swirls and patterns in it. And here are a few more of the styles I got back. And as you can see, they are completely random. They are styles that I never would have thought of using. What I like to do is make a library of different styles for future reference, as you can keep tabs on all the styles that you've used. So let's say you really like one of the styles. Now let's look at using that same style, but with a different image. So I really like this top right one here of this dog. So I'll upscale that image and I've created a new prompt with a dog on a mountain. And then I've changed the aspect ratio to 16 by nine and then add in dash dash sref and then drag in that image so that it gets used as a style reference. So just make sure there's a space after sref and the link of the image. And it did a really good job at using that style but with this new prompt. To be honest, this isn't a style I would have looked for or made myself if I hadn't used that random generator. So it just opens up so many possibilities. It's a really cool look actually. I could see it being used in a children's book. So now I'm just going to jump over to the Midjourney Alpha website. It works the same on this website, but let's have a look at generating on here. So I've wrote in a cat wearing a suit with dash dash sref random. Now let's see how random this style is and they came out looking great. So you can see the Midjourney Alpha website works exactly the same as the Discord one. It creates a random style. It looks really cool. It's like an old school detective cat. Yeah, I like it. And it can be hard to describe the style that you've generated. So let's have a look at the describe tool in Midjourney. I'll show you how to do it on the Discord website first. So write in slash describe and then it will give you two options. I'm going to click on image and then I'll drag in one of the images I've created. So I want to know what kind of style this is. So just click enter. As you can see, it's added four different descriptions for this image. And this one even gives you the name of the artist which style it's in. So then you can use these for future generations. This just lets you get a better idea of that style that you really like. So you could always add this information into a future prompt. How you use describe on the Midjourney Alpha website is a little bit different. So you have to click on this plus icon here and then this will show all the images that you've downloaded. So if you click on the I, it comes up with some really useful information. So you have the subject here. So it gives you a rough outline of what the subject is in the image. So as you can see, it says a close up illustration of an orange and tan Jack Russell dog. And here it has more descriptors like childlike style, blue patterned paper background. And if you click these, they'll add it to the prompt. So you can just keep clicking to make that prompt longer. 
And here for that black and white cat image, it also shows you known artists. So there's a list here of different artist styles that look like this image. So you can just click and make your own custom prompt from here. Make sure to use the describe tool to find much more about that style that you love. Now I'll show you how to use an image as a style reference in the Midjourney Alpha website. All you have to do is drag an image into the prompt box. As you can see, it's uploaded it, and you want to click on this middle icon here, which is the paperclip. Now that just adds it as a style reference parameter. So now if I type in a new prompt, and with the Midjourney Alpha website, you don't have to put in dash dash sref, as I've already clicked on that paperclip icon. So here we have an epic landscape with that style on it. They are really interesting. It's managed to do a really good job of capturing that style. Now let's have a look at using multiple parameters in one prompt. For this, I'm going to experiment with a character I've made from a past video. So I'll drag in that character portrait that I had. On the Discord website, you just have to put in dash dash cref and then put in your image link to that character. Or on the Midjourney Alpha website, you just have to click on this character image and that will add the image as a character reference. I'm using the prompt of a portrait photo. I'll add in sref random and I'll add in style weights. So style weights range from zero to 1000 with 100 being the default. The higher the style weight number, the more your image is going to reference that style. The smaller the style weight number, the lesser impact that style will have on the overall image. So I'll try different numbers. For this one, I'll put in a style weight 1000. I'm also going to add in character weight. Character weight ranges from zero to 100, with 100 being the default. At character weight 100, your character will keep the same clothing and look as your character reference image. But at character weight zero, your character's face will be the only thing to stay the same. So it will allow you to change clothing and other aspects. So I'll change this to character weight zero for this one. At character weight zero, it will just allow Midjourney to experiment more with the character's clothing and hairstyles, but while keeping your character's face the same. I'm also going to add a stylized parameter, which should add a bit more creativity to the image. And then a chaos value of 40 to make each of the individual images a bit more different from each other. Then I'll use dash dash repeat five. So I want to create five different generations of this random prompt. And hopefully we should get five completely different stylized results. I am blown away with the results I got. So as you can see, these styles are just all completely different and I never would have thought to pick this style before. As you can see, it's made this like really cool colorful one and using the chaos and stylized parameter really helps with making sure that there's a good mix in each of these images. And here is a really funky style. It's added artwork like onto her top and then that same kind of art style in the background. Uh, it's not the best resolution that one, but maybe that's all part of the style. I'm not quite sure. And here we've got some like neo-noir kind of, looks like a futuristic detective kind of style. That's really cool. And here we have a more vintage style it's more like a kind of retro vintage photography look. And here we have this awesome sketchy kind of vibrant pink style, which looks like it's been done on a sketchbook, but then this one uses her realistic face with some kind of sketching over it. But yeah, really, really impressed with all these styles. And the fun thing is you can just keep generating more and more, and you can use the Midjourney archive to then add the styles that you do like, so then you can go back and reference them later on. Okay, so we've reached the end of this video. Most people may overlook this random generator on Midjourney, but I believe it just opens up so many possibilities and it gets you learning about all these different styles that are available. I hope it's inspired you to go find some awesome looking styles out there. Feel free to comment below if you've got any styles you'd like to share with the community. It would also mean the world to us if you could subscribe, like this video, and hit that bell so you can be updated with more videos like this in the future. If you want to learn about creating perfect character consistency, then click the image you can see on screen right now. You won't want to miss it.